Sure. All right, we got the fist bump. Just definitely not a character you see unless you're watching Solar Beam. <laughs> All right, so obviously Karma is a character that has given Fawn some trouble here. So let's see if Ike uh, has the same effects. Oof, the quick draw. Just getting that can right out of there. Might as well. They have the disjoints. Right, so coming in on small battlefield for our game one. And this, I feel, definitely, I think, favors Fawn. This is a stage that I see Fawn counterpick to a lot just because the biplats offer so much protection for uh for especially for duck hunt the way that fawn likes to play setting up these sort of mini obstacle courses but that being said platforms do wonders for ike ladder combos exactly i wouldn't be surprised if we saw a battlefield counter pick if uh mega loses this first round mm -hmm. uh oh all right some great trades there Mega being unafraid to just go in. Doing a great job of actually avoiding the can and just knocking it back. Fawn having to go for the can towards the right is able to still get the conversion and now evening up the percentage. And this is where Fawn really thrives is in ledge traffic. No. And oh, just barely gets clipped by the Aether. Fawn had the F smash charged and ready for Mega. Look, it's easy to edge guard Ike, but Ooh. you gotta know how to do it. Spacing oh. by Mega, but just barely gets clipped into the can, and that is going to be Fawn taking first stock. Oh my god, and the patience from Fawn as well. Ready and able to convert off of the can on her shield. Oh no, 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 no. no. They were ready for that. Yeah, definitely not going to be catching anyone with that Aether. Oh my god, for that dash attack twice in a row? Okay. I mean, it's powerful. Might as well do it again. <laughs> That gunman is so spooked. I am bold! There were, there were like three hitboxes in that one general area. He's like, oh, goodness! My hat. All right, but this guy, no fear. That's the cool leader. Mega, unfortunately, having to recover high and dodge everything. Ooh, almost getting caught by the can. Have to be careful that uh, the Sombrero Bandito, that is the most powerful one. That definitely... I think probably will be killing off of the side at this percentage. Yes. He's not the fastest, but like you said, the most powerful. It looks like Mega exactly knows what these timings are. Ooh, Ooh but unfortunately getting caught by the can. Uh, this is death if... Nope, no conversion. But there we go. Find the him in the up there. Yeah, Mega just not able to find his way back down onto the stage. And meanwhile, Fawn is just chilling with 36%. From what? Oh Ooh, no! The, the can saved her. Just barely keeping the hitbox back long enough for Fawn to get out of the way. Mega, if you want to play Ganondorf, just play Ganondorf. <laughs> All right, Fawn just really making these biplats home right now. Honestly, Reset. very smart from Mega there. If you notice, like, the shield went down, and uh, there was just enough space to get that down tilt. Oh, no. An unfortunate SD from Fawn having to air dodge just a little bit early, not able to make it back to the ledge. Now Mega in a much better position. Taking it slow. Off stage, though. No oh, boy. Oh, yeah. that should be a down air. Not death, though. Ooh, oh. clanking with a smash? but Fawn gets another chance, and this can doing so much work against the quick draw high recoveries. Okay, we're seeing the start of something. Start of something old, not new, unfortunately. Oh! I finally able to find that quick draw, but it's right back off stage for Mega. Ah, but he's at the ledge. Great right. patience for Mega right there to avoid the gunman. That grab. This should be it. And yep. Throw into the can. No, no, still alive at 200. Okay. Rage Ooh. Ike, though. Ooh. Ike, right, right back in ledge. Get the can out of there. This is an Ike with Rage if he's able to find one good confirm. Staying out of the range of the cool leader gunman. That's like 20% every hit. Oh. The percentage is starting to rack up. If Mega's able to get one good hit, gotta watch the Bandito. Easy, easy. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that can. Uh, this, this might can, be it. I think. No, nope. not able to find the confirm. No kill throws. Oh. Cool leader. Oh. You know what? Good thinking. That's Good thinking. Mega who died. 
Is he okay? What happened with his eyebrow? <laughs> that really was down to like the last, the last second. The last Mega, second, the last hit, the last frame. Mega bet the entire farm on that dash attack. Well, now he's farmless. It's okay, he can win it back and double or nothing. Yeah, I feel like Fawn would have died there too. Oh. Maybe, I don't know. I think Fawn may have lived that. But an unfortunate trade not quite working out for Mega. Trying his luck once again here on Small Battlefield. Surprised that he didn't counter trick to something else. Uh, I don't think we have access to the bands right now. No, so... no, not now. Yeah, so not quite sure what Fawn banned uh, off of Mega. Actually, I wonder if maybe Battlefield was one of Fawn's bands. We do see Fawn kind of pick there a lot, but... That would have been a very smart Battlefield fan. Ike is a, a scary character. Yes. You know what should be banned? Metal Gear Solid music. Because Fawn always seems to power up with that. <laughs> a little too powerful. Alright, use, Fawn using that can, trying to make her way back onto the stage. Even percentages right now. But the can, a bit of a double-edged sword because, of course, Mega is going to be able to extend any hitboxes that he throws out. Oh, and, just and not then, enough gas in the tank to get back. Yeah, and another unfortunate SD from Fawn. Just kind of a free, uh, free stock for Mega. And as well, getting some extra percent off of that Aether, courtesy of the can. Whoa, nice catch there for Mega. Yep, and yeah, Mega, I think, definitely knows the exact range of the gunman. We saw him play just outside the range of that one right there. All right. Ooh, the wave bounce movement. Very clean from Mega, but not quite clean enough. Yeah. Fun able to clean it up with just one F tilt. I like what he's doing with the regrabs. If he hits something with the side special, he's able to like regrab without any like, you know, without being like trumped or anything. But. If he lands on stage, easy punch right there. Yeah, for as good as ledge trapping as Duck Hunt has, Duck Hunt doesn't really have great tools to just hit ledge uh, without committing to a can setup or like just a straight ledge trump. Okay, Ike getting the can out of his face. A fantastic Fawn forward tilt. Exploded. I blinked and they were gone. All right. That being said, though, the percentage is racking up for Mega. We did see Mega live to, like, 200 in game one. So uh, you never want to bet the farm Whoop. again on that, though. He's able. He doesn't have another farm. <laughs> if he's able to hold on to this stock, could be seeing a game three. Okay. Both of them vying for space. Fun with the first hit. Oh. oh. I love the idea from Mega. Just trying to check the aggression from Fawn, but unfortunately, Super Armor does not help against grabs. Yep, it's slow enough to grab. Remember that, folks. Ooh, Ooh cool leader come through. It's a good jab, but so is Duck Hunts. Ooh, the hand placement, she's doing so well for Fawn, but the aggressive uh, reversal from Mega with that down air. Very safe landing on the platform there. Oh, getting caught by the can. And the clay pigeon, oh, such and the can, and the clay pigeon. Oh my god, when does it end? Such a scary position for Mega to be in, but making it out unscathed. Almost able to take the uh, last stock with that dash attack. Ooh. I don't know if we'll see in, uh, a no. repeat of game game one, where we think a dash attack is going to win Mega the game. and then Oh my gosh, the neutral air. Dreams are lost. Back on ledge. Ooh. Nope, right. still living. Still Reading living. with DI. No. Ooh, kept the jump, and Mega is able to make it back on the stage, but once again going for the Hail Mary dash attack. Okay. That's the Aether. Nope. No, not able to get the landing hit because of the platform. <gasps> oh. And not able to find the F tilt Just either. Just That space. definitely would have been the game. <gasps> no, the can. Wrong. Ooh. The can is coming. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You have the gunman forcing Mega to jump there, and that is going to be fun. Catching it with the up air and moving on into winner's finals. You know, Mega was hitting things. He was swinging and hitting everything but the dog. Pretty much. Just, yeah, such a, a tough position for Mega to be in. So many projectiles coming his way, and it 
it feels safe to jump in the corner. Can we go back to that very first replay where he hit the can in midair and the can just kind of fell down? Like, I felt like uh, there was some intangibility there. So if you go back, right, side special into the can. I think... And it goes right through him. Yeah, I think while the can is in that, like, danger alert beeping phase, then I think it cannot be, like, affected by knockback anymore. Ah, yes. John, you were talking about this a couple weeks ago. Gotta keep this in mind. There's there's a lot of knowledge to keep in mind with Duck Hunt.